Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I painted the Premier's Intercessor model to a decent tabletop standard. So, if this video helps, make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment below, and as always, make sure to subscribe as well if you want to see more videos just like this. So, as you can see, I had a very limited amount of paints that I use on this. I didn't want to overdo it, but there is enough on this to get it to a decent standard. And I started off with McCraig Blue as a base all over. Now what I usually do is start with a grey primer spray that I use from Halfords. Which is an incredible spray. So if you can get your hands on that. It's like very cheap for the size of the can you get. And it works really well. So I use McCraig Blue all over. Make sure you get everything covered. But now I've switched to McCraig Blue spray. Which works just as well. And then for, I like to call it the under armour parts. The kind of the joints. I like to paint them all Abaddon Black. Um, so you have the back of the knees the back of or the inside parts of kind of the elbow and of course his belt and any of the kind of pockets that he has on his back as well attached to the belt now one of the key things you're going to find out with painting one of these premieres models is parts are going to get like painted over by mistake so a lot of the time I spent with this is uh, tidying up so I'm going to be painting over any mistakes I made so don't be afraid to make mistakes with this part yet if a little bit of black gets over the blue don't worry about it it'll all get tidied up later on and then I moved on to one of the most reliable paints lead belcher which is done on all the metallic parts so you have these like little metallic parts on the back of the legs you have parts of the backpack and um, especially the gun but I left the gun to do the gun entirely separate but it's on that as well you have the item he has in his hand as well the tracker item that's gonna be painted in lead belcher also and uh, you have like the belt as well, the belt buckle part. So once you had all the metal parts painted, I moved on to the null and oil to get into the black recesses of the joints and the belt as well. And what, and especially like you know, there's lines at the back of the leg. Make sure to get in there as well. Don't be afraid to get too messy with it, because as I said, you're going to be spending a bit of time tidying up this model as well. So it's just it might it'll take a little bit longer than just putting null and oil all over the model it's just the easier to pick out uh, specific parts to make uh, the deeper recesses stick out a little bit more so you have like the top of the kneecap uh, behind that the bottom of the kneecap just going along there and it just ties the model together a lot nicer and then for the golden parts which is the chest insignia and the shoulder pads I went to Richard Bruder armor uh, all over you might have to put two coats on if it doesn't come a lot across nice enough but if you have to put two coats on just simply do it as well just water it down get it uh, nice and even and spread it across then and then I moved on to highlighting which was Calgar blue so it was kind of before I put the highlight on that's when you want to start tidying up to make sure everything's cleaned up as well so I went with Calgar blue which is a really nice uh, colored the highlight over the uh, McCraig blue so it's just the most prominent parts don't worry about putting it over too much kind of a little bit of less is more works really well with this so I need the kind of the high edges and um, edges of the backpack and the kind of the mohawk feature of the helmet as well get them edges there so the most prominent parts the parts that you're going to see the most don't get too caught up on trying to highlight everything and then I then I kind of experimented a bit. Instead of using Agrax Earth Shade, I went with Reiklin Flesh Shade over the gold because I didn't want it to be too dark or too dirty. And um, I think Reiklin Flesh Shade is just about right to get the gold to a darker state instead of having it too dark and looking too kind of uh, dirty or old looking. Now as you can see in this I have a null and oil wash in the recesses of the arm, arm of the shoulder pad. Uh, you could probably do that with Reckon Flesh Shade because it will be a bit easier on the eye because it's a lighter shade as well. And then of course I moved on to the gun. Just for ease I just left it to do separate. Um, base coat the whole thing in Abaddon Black. And then just like last time with Lead Belcher I did all the metal parts in that as well. And 
And then while that was drying, I moved on to getting the eyes finished. So as you can see, you can see a lot of the, the Calgar blue highlight on the helmet. That's what I was talking about earlier, the Mohawk part. But for this, just do the way I do. If you can try and get it precise as you can, go ahead. If you're going to get a little bit messy with it, it's going to go outside the eye part. That's fine. Just tidy it up later on. A lot of the time, that's what I do. And then good old Nullin Oil over Lead Belcher. Uh, I think I wasn't too sure what to do with the black, if I was going to put it over it. That's totally up to you. If you like that kind of matte black on it, it could work. But uh, I think in the end, I did end up just putting Nullin Oil all over the black, over the whole gun. And just to kind of make the recesses a bit bigger, or a bit deeper. And then, with the Retributor armor all dry in the shade and everything all okay it, I went to the Liberator Gold. Now, I didn't have a highlighting color for a gold because I did have Liber Liberator Gold before, but the pot went all funny on me, so I couldn't use it. So I used to use, I think it was Stormhole Silver to highlight it, but until I got the Liberator Gold in Warhammer Conquest, I switched to highlighting with that, and it, it is brilliant. I love the combination of Retributor Armor, a shade, and a highlight of Liberator Gold. It's so simple, but it makes the gold stick out so much more. And then with Stormhole Silver, I highlighted all the metal parts on the gun as well. And then with the gun, I went with Storm Vermin Fire all over the black, uh, just on the most prominent edges. And of course then I highlighted parts on the belt, the kind of uh, pockets on the back of it and any some I think some parts that I was able to get there I did some of the the under armor black as well, like the back of the knees and all that. And then with the purity seals I moved on to Rackard Flesh for a base on that. It's one of the most reliable colours for any kind of cloth. So it was a simple choice to use that for it. And once that was dry, I went with Seraphim CPA wash, uh, just to give it that faded. I think it's, instead of using the Agrax or shit, it gives it that more of a faded, uh, pale look instead of making it dirtier. And then for the top part, the waxish, the waxy part, I went with my fist on red as the base color. And that's the model finished. The last little part I forgot to record. But the top of the seal was washed with Agrax or Shade and then highlighted with Wazdaka Red. And as you can see, for tabletop standard, this guy is ready to go. I tried to keep the colours to a minimum simply because if you're going to be painting at least like 20 of these for an army or something like that, it's just going to take longer and longer. But for this, for this type of standard, he's good to go, I think. Um, I'm happy with how he turned out. The tracker on his hand, the screen on that was painted with, I think, Wag Flesh, uh, Null and Oil over the edges of it or the inside edges and then kind of that brightens up the center of the screen on it so it kind of gives it like a like it's a working effect but if you guys like this painting tutorial make sure to let me know in the comment section i enjoyed painting this hopefully i can get a few more of these done uh pretty soon but um only if you guys like it so make sure to hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe if you already haven't and once again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next video